Hello everybody, welcome to the show how to create an Android application that related to dictionary. Okay, so now we are standing in step two here, yeah. share preference. Okay, so now we are going to working with this together. Okay, now let's step into Android Studio. Okay, but before we start, I have to come with this. Sell key value set. Okay, so you can go to Google and type here, yeah, different or type directly here. Yeah. Okay, so find key, uh, sell key value set. So I get that and find this here. Okay, right to share preference. Okay, so I just copy. Okay, and So I changing this string and so post string. Yeah, that's it. Should be like that. Okay, so I need an other method so call public start hey and return with string and I get that. Okay, get that. So I delete this and this from say I prefer. And paste. Okay, that's it. So we need the same thing. Okay, that's it. So I should call activity and this resource get the resource in unit. Okay, so this is should be okay. So this is should be get string and this are for you with the mouse and this is what I return. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, so now I'm um, go to main activity. So our pupil, our purpose. So we are going to change this, right? Uh, so now let uh, Our purpose is when we change, we select this menu and we are close the application. <coughs> and we are going to run it again. <coughs> it should be uh, remember this, right? So we store 
is that in uh, say a preference so now we are already uh, implement the method okay now we are just uh, call the method and save the step yeah that's it so i should be call this method in yeah so when the option menu create so i call global dot sales step so i need an activity so i pass this and i need a string key so i should call uh comma just uh uh and what do so this part is not what i'm going to save state but this part is going to get state right yeah and when i get state i got a stream so i just want you okay so what i got from this is to be id right so is maybe I should implement uh, sales step first okay. to make you easy to understand. Okay, so just uh, keep this here. So I should be implement a uh, sales step first. So the same thing call to global but should sales step. So when the user clicks uh, any uh, menu item I just got the menu item ID and save it instead okay so I should call this and what the next parameter is key so I will put okay and next the value is ID but the ID should be string dot value of okay that's it so when the user select any menu item i just uh, got this id of menu item and save it into my step okay so i just hold on Control alt and press on tl to format my code okay just yeah that's it so now i'm back to on create option menu it mean that when the application start and it's going to uh, call this this method so when it's called this method i will read uh, uh id from step that is should be called id okay but i should be make a condition if id equal null it should be is id not equal now so when the id equal now it should be when your application start in the first time okay so you don't have step big type in your application so it's go it's going to be now because of our default value we set now okay so when when uh when application find share preference key with this and it don't have in share preference it's will set before now okay so we are going to get a null id so now we make a condition if id is not null we are going to call this method on option item selected and pass on menu item that I call menu dot find item with ID so I should be convert my string of ID to integer it's just for ID yeah yes yes that's it that's it so now let's start our application okay it's like 
lunge. Yes, it's gone. Okay, so I choose my English. So now let's close the application. And let's start it again. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this show. So now I should say thank you for watching and see you on next videos that related to fragments. Goodbye.